everyone, Glenda Mollett here, and we're in my craft room again this morning. It's Thursday, April the 30th, and we are going to create with the Mountain Air bundle today. So I'm just queuing up my computer to see if we're oriented properly. And we are. Alrighty. Take a drink of tea while I'm waiting. Oh, good morning, Valerie. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Hang on, I forgot to clean my my camera. I just have to wipe the camera off. Just in case it goes fuzzy on you and I have to shut the door. Because otherwise you can hear my furnace when it goes on and it's irritating. There we are. I did forget to put the do not disturb on so just bear with me for a half a sec while I do that. Sorry, but if I don't put that on and somebody calls my phone, it's never a good thing. Okay, so today, this morning's been a little bit crazy. Fiona, how you doing? All the way from Australia. You hanging in there, girlfriend? Okay. So, we are going to create that card that, remember I put up a picture of two cards um, made with the mountain air. One was in purple, pink and purple, and one was in greens, and I said, which one do you want to make? And everybody chose the orangey purple one. So that's what we're going to do today. I had to wait till I got the dye in because I didn't have it. I know, shock that there was something I didn't have. So she used this dye from the, wait for it, wait for it, Friendly Silhouettes dyes. So this has a, it's like bulrushes, and she had that in the front of her card. Well, I didn't have that dye yet, so I had to order it, so I did. Um, but it also has all the, these other cool dyes. So this is another, another border one. It's got a bunch of flowers in it. And then this, look at this. You could cut and have palm trees and water. Okay, this one completely slipped my radar. Good morning, Carmen. Who else is in there? Got five on so far. Woohoo! We're doing good this morning. Okay, so I'm going to go and get a piece of, a strip of adhesive sheet to put on the back of the Blackberry Bliss. Now, did I tell you I'm so stoked in the new catalog the adhesive sheets are coming back. Yeha. So you'll start you'll see me start to use them a lot more than I have been because you're soon going to be able to get some. Carmen, Carla, hello. Okay. So I need to cut a piece of adhesive sheet because I haven't done that yet. So this piece of paper is six by two and three quarters. So I want a piece of adhesive sheet that is five and seven eighths by two and five eighths. First of all, I have to find my paper trimmer. Good morning, Carmen. Okay, so we're gonna cut this at two and five eighths. And I was watching somebody create the other day and she was using this. And you know how sometimes you get um, little 
fluffies, little flags on the end of, on the side that you cut for your cardstock. She said that if you use the, this is five and seven eighths I'm going for here. If you use the embossing blade and the cutting blade at the same time, that it eliminates almost all of that. Who knew? I didn't know that. I thought that was the coolest tip ever. Good morning, Donna. So there, we'll add that on in a sec. So we're going to use the Mountain Air stamp set. We're going to use the um, Friendly Silhouettes dies that are in a bundle with the Friend Like You stamp set. Now this is available in the new catalog, but only in a bundle until the end of May. Then when it goes forward to the new catalog, you can't save the 10% off the bundled price anymore. So we're going to use those. We're going to use um, stitched rectangle dies for the sentiment and the subtle embossing folder. So we have an envelope and I'm I decided to stick with whatever colors and stuff she was doing. So there's a petal pink card base, a piece of whisper. So that's eight and a half by five and a half or whatever your standard is. This is for the inside. It's five and a quarter by four, just plain whisper white. Then there's a piece of five and a quarter by four um, purple posy. And this is shimmery cardstock. And I believe is yeah five by three and three quarters. So that's the one that we're going to do all of the stamping on. Sorry, it's oriented this way. And then the bulrushes are cut out, and they go on the bottom like that. Morning, Janet Chin. Okay, so first step is to get this adhesive sheet onto our Blackberry Bliss. Yep. <laughs> oh, Lord help me. There we go. Sometimes when you're live on Facebook, things just don't work out. There. So now we don't have to put adhesive on the back of the these when we cut them out. So when you're cutting this out, don't ever cut on this side because you will have to scrub your dye with, what's that stuff called? Goo Gone. Scrub it, literally, literally scrub it with a toothbrush because the glue from the um, adhesive sheet gets right into the grooves of the dye and holy man, it's hard to get off. Yeah, ask me how I know that because it wasn't once I did it, it was twice. Okay, so I'm just sticking this on the magnetic platform. Hey, Maria. Ooh, lots of people today. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm just running it. Oh, my Lord. What did I just find? Look, look, look what I found. Do you remember that leaf that I lost? Well... Lord only knows where it was, but I just it just popped out of my big shop machine. Now I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was stuck on the bottom of the the platform. I bet it was. I bet it was stuck on the bottom of the magnetic platform. Anyways, found it. Only took ten days. All right. Now we'll just pop that out, put the die on the magnetic sheet so that I don't lose it. Not that it's going to get lost easily because it is quite big. This even has a, a die to cut out um, dragonflies because there's dragonflies in the stamp set. I love this. Why didn't I get this earlier? Life is so good with a friend like you. Oh, look. 
how good is that for what we're going through right now and everything else will work out oh enjoy the little things yeah okay so that for this you just have to play with it a bit and then finish cutting the edges but i don't want to because you see the the adhesive sheet is oh it's cut through yeah we'll play with that when it's time to put it on Need my dirty paper. We're going to do some stamping on the shimmery white cardstock. And it's oriented like a hamburger, so it's oriented sideways. All right. Where did I put my stamps? There we are. <clears throat> so this stamp set is a reversible stamp set, which means you can stamp with both sides. So one side has detail on it. The other side is just a big blob. All right, I'm going to get my piercing mat. Now, if you don't have one of these and you're using um, photopolymer stamps and you're having a hard time getting a good solid image, you need to order one of these right away because they're on the retiring list. Now, are they sold out? I don't know. Let's find out. Anything that's in blue is sold out. Uh, what's it called? Stampin' Pierce. Stampin'. Oh, okay. Too late. It's sold out. Sorry. I might have a couple. Anyways, it ha using that helps get a, a really solid image. If you don't have that, then you need to put at least have some foam between you and your table. So the first thing... The colors we're going to use are Flirty Flamingo, Highland Heather, and Grapefruit Grove. And that's the same colors that she used. And I can't remember what her name was. Let me scroll down a bit. And get Sherry Stojkovic. There we are. Sherry Stojkovic originated this card. And sanitizer. Oh, yeah, I tried that, Lena. I tried that. I tried nail polish remover. I tried... What else did I try? About four... Oh, um, acetone, which is nail polish remover. Uh, rubbing alcohol. Nothing touched it. The... The... Um, uh, Goo Gone helped, and so did WD-40 and a toothbrush. I'm telling you, it was, it was something. And then, if that wasn't bad enough, I did it again. I got it all cleaned up and just was going at it with the big shot machine, and I darned if I didn't do exactly the same thing again. So take it from me. Don't do that. Okay. So I just had to get a picture of the card up in front of me. So I, I kind of, I drew, <laughs> these are my instructions. I drew a little picture, wrote a whole bunch of stuff. I've got it in front of me, but I'm a, I'm a look and see person. So I did notice when I was reading how she did it and looking at her pictures that um, when she stamped, you know how I've told you before, when you stamp, okay, let's stamp this. This is Flirty Flamingo on the back side of the stamp and full strength ink. Yeah, you know what? I told you to use this and then I didn't. Okay, we're inking again. Maybe my flirty flamingo needs to be inked. Oh well, too late. I hope I said good morning to everybody because I really appreciate you guys all being here. Okay, so you stamp. And rub. Hopefully this will get a better image. 
If not, we'll just let it have to let it go. Yeah, I need to be re-inked. Okay, so then what she did was she just went ahead and moved it over and stamped it again. But you know how I've um, told you that if it's hanging off of the edge, see how this is hanging off of the edge here? That's going to give you a really dark spot right there on the edge. So I personally don't like that. But if you can let that go, then go ahead. What I do is I re-ink it again, stamp it off, and then go in and put my next layer on. Like that. Now we still have a little piece there that needs to be done, so I'm going to use the edge of that mountain. So I'm rinking it up, stamping it off, and we'll just put another little piece of a mountain in there. There we go. Okay, so that's Flirty Flamingo. Done twice. Okay. Next comes Grapefruit Grove. But first of all, I have to clean. I'm going to move that. I have to clean my stamp. I uh, rinsed out my Simply Chamois this morning too, so it um, it's clean again. I keep forgetting to do that. You should see the pants I have on. <laughs> I don't wear pajama bottoms, like the pajama pants, ever. But when we went camping this year, I decided to buy myself a pair of pajama pants, and they're gray with pink hearts all over them and when I got up this morning well when I woke up this morning it was 3 30 my body just would not go back to sleep no matter what I did so after two hours of tossing and turning and reading and I decided to get up and I thought you know I need to be comfy today today is going to be a comfy day so I decided that I was going to wear my Pajama pants that I don't ever wear. Oh, look. Can't even see that pink. Maybe I should have done it the other way. Oh, you know what? She did it the other way. I think the grapefruit grove should be in the middle. I mean in the foreground. Oh, well. It is what it is. We're going to carry on. Thanks, Carmen. You can you get to see all my boo-boos. Maybe I should have um, stamped it off before I did that. Or I was stamping too much off. Oh, who knows. There we are. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to stick some more pink in there because there's not enough flirty flamingo. Clean it off again. Put some flirty flamingo. And today, this morning, on top of all this not getting any sleep, our oldest grandson showed up to help Grandpa build a gate. And we were talking about what he was going to do and how he has to do extra schoolwork tomorrow because he's supposed to be in school right now learning stuff. It's his school time in the morning. There. That'll do. I'll fix that with the sponging. So it's his school time in the morning and he's here helping Grandpa. And I said, well, you know, what are you learning in math right now I said aren't you doing fractions and he said yeah I said well you know fractions is what you'll be using when you help grandpa make that um that gate out there he looked at me like what are you talking about woman I said yeah you um every time you measure a board you got to use your fractions 
So he was excited to learn that he would have math class this morning with Grandpa. So this one, I'm not using the blob side. I'm using the detail side. And this is in Highland Heather. And you can stamp this off first if you don't want it too dark. So this is going to go sort of, okay, let's move it over here where I can see, right there. I hope this works out. You know, I haven't done this card yet, so this is an experiment. Okay, that's that done. Now, we're going to take, get rid of the pierce mat, take a sponge, and this is um, shimmery white cardstock, so it sponges quite good. But remember, when you're sponging, you want to dab off the first little bit so you don't end up with big blobs. And you want to sponge only the edges. You want to leave kind of a moonlight strip down the middle. Because we're going to put some flirty flamingo in that spot. And make sure you go right up into the water part. Oh yeah, I didn't leave a big enough splotch in the middle there. Oh well. There we are. So that's the Highland Heather. And now we're going to use um, Grapefruit Grove. Grapefruit Grove goes on the top. To fill in up here. Like that. Now I did for I only got oh there's the other sponge. Let's just check that this one's not dirty. So now we're going to put flirty flamingo. I think I'm going to add a bit to the sky just because I can. I think a little bit of pink up there would look kind of cool. Not make it quite so orange. Okay, so now I'm also going to go right across the center there where we had that pink. And then you go down the center here in that spot that you were supposed to leave white that I didn't leave a big one but at least we'll have a subtle sunset happening. There we are. And that's all she did. That was it. That's the card. I still think she did. Well, I could be wrong. Oh, well. So now... We get our die cut, cut it off of the cardstock. And get rid of the extra little pieces in there. Oh, morning, Cindy. Welcome. Good morning, Diana. Yeah, it'll be here. Okay, I'm just pushing out those extra little bits in between the bulrushes. I don't know why it's not giving me the comments this morning. It just tells me who's watching. So I have to go back to my computer all the time to see the comments, but that's okay. Hayes in North Dakota. All right. Got our pieces all done. And now we'll take the liner off the adhesive on the back.
Now this is going to be too long because this is only five and this is six inches wide. But that's okay because maybe we can maybe we can do it so that the big part's not right in the middle. I'm going to put it right at the bottom of the cardstock. Oops. Stuck to my finger. Here we are. Now we'll just go to the back and cut off those little pieces. Now I'm going to leave that, that bulrush on there because it might be okay once we get it onto the card. Now it's going to layer on top of the purple posy like that. So we'll just get some I appreciate you guys all taking time out of your day to watch me create a card that I've never made before and make all these boo-boos. <laughs> this afternoon I've got an online class. We're going to be playing with pigment sprinkles. That's going to be fun. Going to be messy. Maybe it's a good thing I have my comfy jammy bottoms on. However, if I wore black like I normally do, I probably wouldn't be able to see the mess. Maybe I'll wear my apron, this, my Stampin' Up apron. So this is going to go onto here like this. Grandson's poking his head in the craft room door. I'm live. Say hi, James. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, in math class with Grandpa. Apparently he was hungry. Oh, you got blood? Yeah. Oh, a job, a job well done. It's always a good job when you can draw blood. Ah, coffee time. Yes, I have tea. I'm not a coffee drinker. I never have gotten on to the flavor of coffee. So, I drink tea. Or water. Or my soda water. We have one of those soda streams. And I like it with a little bit of flavoring in it. Okay, now this is going on to a piece of petal pink. If I can get it centered on here, that is. There we go. Maria, he was gone before I saw your comment, but I'll let him know you said hi to him. Yeah, so there we are. There's the card. Now we just all we have to do is the inside and sentiment. So the inside, what shall we? I got the trees out. We should do the trees in purple, I think. Ah, think I think. Now I don't usually use. There's a, a double flower or double leaf and a single leaf and I always use this one what's in this stamp set maybe we could use something like oh let's do that instead yes please you know what I think I'm going to enjoy this stamp set I haven't even processed it yet because I just got it in yesterday I've not had time to process it which means put the number on and so what I do is I take this and I put some adhesive on the back I don't use tear and tape I just use a a tape that's removable on the back 
and then I stick it right there and then I pull this off and I do the same thing to this put a piece at the top and a piece at the bottom and then that goes on this side so then it's protected when you close it but when you open it it's ready for you just to pick off whatever stamp you want ah Cindy it's um it's really hard doing this homeschooling thing but you know what the kids are so enjoying it they're missing the the socialization from school definitely but they are enjoying having schooling at home and not a full day and being able to um get up and pet the dogs when they want so it's a toss-up ah uh-oh oh well we have a lot in the middle okay so we'll put this in and then we'll decide so meanwhile while i'm doing that here's the sentiments i thought we'd use this is from the new sending sunshine um, download the PDF for digital images that you can purchase $12 US which is just over $15 Canadian um, and you get the download and you can print it out as many times as you want you just can't share it because it's just like buying a stamp set you're not supposed to share those either but uh, you know in my head I'm hearing Sponge! Sponge! <laughs> oh God, you guys are, wear, are uh, wearing on me, I tell you. I know, sponge, sponge, but I have to find the right color. Oh, that's orange. That's purple. There's the pink one. I don't want to put the wrong color in there. So let's just do some sponging around the edge here. Yeah, so miss you hoping that by staying home more things change than my pajamas. <laughs> thinking of you, thinking of that as a positive thing. Happy quarantine. And thinking of you during this quarantine. So we have all those. If you've already downloaded it and you know what the rest of them are and you've got a favorite, write it in there. Maybe I could find it and we'll see if you want to use that one. So I was thinking of using that because I don't want to cover up too much of the, the creativity on the front of the card. I'm really thinking that that orange needed to be stamped off before I put it on there, but that's okay. I have to learn to let these things go. This is a card. It is what it is. So it's got purple, it's got sponging. Lots of sponging on this one. So... I can't see your comments, so I have no idea what you're... I wonder if they flipped it one way or the other that they would come back. No. It's weird. Just tells me who's watching. So there's like a whole bunch... Hi, Jan. So it says, Hi, Mary, Jan, Janet... Carmen, Diana, says you're all here, but it's not showing me the comments, but I can see them on my computer, so that's a good thing. So, what do you think? This one? That one? Because I think you don't want it to be too big, and I think I'll put it right over top of one side or the other of that and get rid of some of that part that I don't like very much can put the other one, can put this one inside. 
Okay, so I'm just going to, where's my scissors? Cut this out so that I don't go over top of the other ones. Yeah, so you can print these out as many times as you want. They come on eight and a half by 11. They print out on eight and a half by 11. Or if you buy one that's a different country. Let's make this smaller. So I'll double cut it. Then it comes in whatever size your country is because Canada is different than Europe. Okay, so I'm going to take this through the die cutting machine. And there it is. So I can double cut it or I can leave it the way it is or we can put it over here Let's double cut it and see what happens. I'm just going to put it on there, stick it, make sure it hits the stitch lines, and then cut out just that edge. See, you put it on here, on the magnetic platform. Get it down in there where you want it, so it just sits, it just sits down into the um, stitch lines. And then I'll put my plate on top like this so it cuts only that end. Then you're not going over the other end and just in case things aren't right when you line things up. There we are. So there. That's called double die cutting. That's better. And I'm thinking it needs to go right there. Yep, needs to go right there. Yeah, I have tea all day, Diana. I used to drink um, international coffee, the sugar-free vanilla. But when I did my last coaching thing for my weight loss, I haven't been losing weight. And she told me it's because I'm drinking that stuff. So I had to stop. But she said, you don't have to stop forever, just until you get to maintenance. There you go. There's the card. Now this one, we could stick this on the inside. We can die cut that out with something. Let's see. What size do we need? I'll die cut with this one. No, that one's not long enough. What about this one? There we are. Can I cut that? Let's cut that one out. We'll see what it looks like on the inside. So are you guys doing okay at home? Isolating? Not isolating distancing. I heard the other day somebody say that we're in lockdown. We're not in lockdown. This is not a lockdown. I don't want to be in lockdown. There we go. So we'll just stick a little bit of tape on this and we'll stick it right to the inside. Yes, the the kids. This is really the hardest on kids and the seniors. The seniors that are living alone or in a facility, and they don't get to see people, um, or anybody that lives alone. That personal contact and the hugging is the is the part that we miss the most. The hugging. Oh my gosh. First words a kid's grandchildren say now are, can I hug you, Grandma? So we've developed a COVID hug. Whoops, don't go down because you're not straight. It's probably not 100% COVID, but we turn our heads sideways. We take a deep breath. We have a nice big hug and then, and then we go wash our hands. Here we are. Shoot, that didn't take very long, did it? I really don't like this, though. 
that really needs some attention. Don't you think? Definitely needs to. It looks too disjointed. Hang on a sec. Now that we got it all finished, I'm not liking it as much. I'm going to see if I can quickly cut another piece. Three and a half by five. Is it three and a half by five? No. Oops. It was three and three quarters by five. Okay, back to the drawing board. Three and three quarters by five. Okay, let's try this again and see what happens. Bring this in. Give it a clean because I don't. That really bothers me that because I don't think it's even showing me all of the comments on. I don't think I'm seeing all the comments, but that doesn't matter. Just know that I am here with you. And if I don't see your comment, it's not me. It be Facebook. Okay. So let's do orange first. Do the grapefruit grove. I just find that is so harsh. And my stamp and pierce map. And when I put it down, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do as much back and forth as I normally do. <sighs> okay, we're gonna have to do a bit bunch of sponge in there. No. Ink it up again. Oh yeah, it should be putting the ink pad to the stamp, not the stamp to the ink pad. Okay, do a little light st stamp off. Do it there. Oh, I can see some now, sort of. Okay, this one needs a lot of pushing. Now we'll just do this end again so we get some definition there. Okay, now we'll clean it. Now we'll get the blurred flamingo out. Up with flirty flamingo. These are such pretty colors together. I really like them. Definitely a sunsetty color. Lots of ink. Okay. Stamp this. Ink it up again. Oh, got to stamp this corner because I didn't get enough. I didn't get a lacking a hump over there. There. All right. Now ink the whole thing. Stamp it off lightly. I still want there to be some color. Add on there. Give it a good rub. Oh, I'm liking this better. Ink this end up. Give it a light stamp off. And just put that down there like that. I'm liking that better. That orange is not quite so in your facey. Now, do the Highland Heather. Give it a good 
inking. I think it's time to spend time inking all of my ink pads. And that's going to go right there. Well, what do you think? I know I can't see all of your comments, so I can't. this is really bothering me. It says there's been 29 comments, but I can only see two of them. Weird. Uh-oh, look at that. Apparently that was a mess in there. Okay, we're going to have to try and fix that with the sponging. Okay, sponging. Purple. Nope. That's pink. That's orange. There's the purple. Okay, now here's where we want to leave the, the bit in the middle for the white. here and do some precision um, spongy. Okay, now we're going to go some in this way. So what do you think? This one better than the other one? Yeah. Oh, I am seeing. Yes, way better. Second one. Second one. I agree. Okay, but that's the end of the purple sponging. Now we'll do some orange sponging. I have to get some right there. Just going to do it in a dabby. I don't want to go sideways and end up mushing that purple, the Highland Heather. I'm just trying to fill in holes. Do you know when you're when you're sponging that if you do this you get way different um, look than if you do that? There we are. Now the Flirty Flamingo. Go across the top a little bit. Just so it's not stark. And we're going to do down the center here. Where the sunset is reflecting off the water. more up there. There, now I'm going to go back with orange, but I'm not going to put any more ink on my sponge. I'm just going to kind of do this, just to put some orange in with the pink. Just to tie all the colors in. I like that one better. What do you think the chances are we're going to be able to get this card apart? I know this will come off, because that's what I like about that the adhesive sheets. For a while, they they stay removable, so I'd be able to get that up without too much difficulty. Put that on the bottom. Be careful here, because it's already cut to size. Come on, stick. Okay, it may not be sticking. All right. Tombo to the rescue. Let's see how... Oh, I'm good, having a good Tombo day. Just sticking down the bulrushes. 
not that one because that's the one that hangs off the edge. Now we'll just let that dry for a sec out of the way while I get out my pokey tool to lift this up. So now you're seeing what I go through sometimes. I get a card finished and I really don't like it. So then I take it all apart and redo it. Yep. So now I'm just going to use, this is undo. Not, it's um, not environmentally friendly by any stretch of the imagination, but look at what it does. It just, it melts that adhesive underneath there. Even though we used um, tear and tape, which doesn't like to let go of anything. You should use this in a well ve ventilated area too. There, so that one's gone. It's going in the garbage. Not because it's ruined, but because I just don't like it. But you can still, you can see the adhesive still on there. So while it's wet, I can pull that off. Or we could, you can leave it on, but I find that it turns it to jelly and sometimes it just doesn't lay pr nice afterwards. But you have to do it while it's wet or it won't come up. This is already starting to stick. There we are. Oh, now I really have a gooey mess. But that's okay. I don't find gooey messes when it's for a good reason. Okay, let's get rid of this. Get some adhesive on the back of this one. I'm sure that when she made hers, she she did it with the the orange and the, the grapefruit grove in the front, or she stamped it off, one or the other. Definitely didn't do it the way I did it the first time. Okay, so now this is just about dry. Just give it a little flick in the air. Helps it dry. And we'll put this back on. I thought we were going to be a little bit shorter in time today until I decided to redo the card. Okay, so make sure your card opens properly. Because, you know, upside down card sometimes is not a good thing. And we would have had to take it all apart. Okay, there's that. Now we'll get our piece with our Tombow on it. Lay it down there. Oops. There we go. And the sentiment, I don't even have to redo the, the uh, glue, pop dots on the back, the dimensionals, because they're still good. There. Oh, I'm so much happier with that one than the other one. And don't you love these um, sayings hoping that by staying home more things change than just my pajamas <laughs> oh yes it's been fun so that download you get 15 pages of stuff that you can um, print over and over and over and just die cut or punch out have another quarantini. It's like a normal martini, but you drink it at home alone. I wish I was wishing I was in quarantine with you. Stay home, stay safe. Like there's a whole bunch. Like each page is different. All 15 pages are different. They all have different colors. It does ha give you a list of um, coordinating dies and punches and colors in the first two pages. You have to print it out on white, Whisper White cardstock, but put in two sheets of regular copy paper first. So the first two pages print on that because that's all the instructions. You don't need that on your extensive cardstock. So that's it, ladies. Um, I'm back tomorrow 
it tomorrow is the Friday Zoom drop-in, but I'll be streaming it live on Facebook. And we are going to play with, where did I put it? The double wonder technique. So I already added the picture in the post I did earlier this morning of the, the template to cut the 12 by 6 designer paper out. So um, grab some designer paper, whatever color you want, some coordinating cardstock. You need 11 card bases. You need one piece of Whisper White 3 and a quarter by 5. And the rest is just little pieces um, for um, sentiments. So I'm going to be using this uh, die cut. No, this download. The ver the digital stamps. I'm going to be using those. Now, I did forget to tell you that this digital download is a fundraiser for COVID. And you can choose between the WHO COVID or United Way COVID, or you can split it half and half. And when I heard on Tuesday, when did this, Wednesday, I guess, this thing was available on Tuesday. And Wednesday afternoon, um, our CEO said they'd already raised $40,000 towards COVID relief and they're aiming at over a million. So it would be awesome if you guys would go. I can't tell when you buy it because you're not buying it from me. You're buying it through a different avenue um, so that because 100% of the profits go to those, the charities for COVID. Stamping up is not taking the money and I am not getting the money. I'm not even, nobody's making a profit on this. So that's why I can't tell if you've gone and downloaded it. So I know Janet Chin did because I saw her make a couple of cards with the Quarantini on it yesterday. So thank you for that. Um, if you need the link, let me know and I will put the link in there. I think I did it earlier in my earlier post. So that's it. I'm done. And for those of you that are coming back this afternoon for the pigment sprinkles, I'll see you at 1 o'clock. And I'll see the rest of you at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Um, Zoom, Friday morning Zoom drop-in. The link has already been posted. Or you can watch it and interact with us on Facebook Live because I'm going to stream it at the same time. So thanks for joining me this morning. I hope you have a wonderful day. The sun is shining. And there's a grandchild at my house. So I'm going to go and enjoy a little bit of that. The sunshine and the grandchild. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Stampin' Smiles. Bye for now.